So, I've come to the conclusion that I won't buy anything ever. I'm not doing it. Hey y'all, Scott here. What are we sending today? I am pretty hungry. Lost. I should get more into eating food. I heard people love that stuff. The issue is... I don't know how to cook. And that's a problem with this me causing havoc. What am I gonna do if I can't cook? Be thankful? Thankfully, I have an escape route. There happens to be a Nintendo DS game that has all the answers. This isn't personal trainer math. The Nintendo DS era, when uncles were reborn. Your non-video game playing family members finally had something to do with their lives. While Nintendo did a lot to satiate the core audiences with the platform, they wanted to expand, give the rest of the population who didn't play video games what they wanted. World Peace and 100 Classic Books. They introduced the Touch Generations label, used on games meant for geriatrics patients. These games were meant to be enjoyed and understandable to nearly anybody and everybody. Some were definitely still video games, others were more so applications, educational tools, self-help software. They snuck in a few video gamey video games under this label, like Elite Beat Agents. Oh f grandma would totally understand this. But most Touch Generations games were on the level of Brain Age, Big Brain Academy, Crosswords DS, while the proud to be a gamer demographics wants these titles to burn in hell, I find them to be incredibly important. They brought in the gaming demographic and made way for applications of this nature on more accessible devices like smartphones and personal trainer walking invented exercise. It's just interesting to see video games that aren't video games for a video game console. 100 Classic Books doesn't even have an ESRB age rating. Looks like I'm reading the kids Othello tonight. But what does have a rating? Personal Trainer Cooking, a cookbook for the Nintendo DS. Now this is a game. See, 100 Classic Books doesn't have an age rating because they're books, old unedited public domain classics like Huck Finn. Personal Trainer Cooking is basically just a cookbook, but it has alcohol references, so it's rated E for everyone. So overall, 100 Classic Books is more appropriate for all ages. Ever actually read Huck Finn? Gourmet made easy. So easy you need to buy a DS to make mac and cheese. The DS chef talks you through international recipes. They got the DS chef in on this? That tears it. I'm ready. I'm gonna wear this chef's hat like it's 2027 and we're gonna make history and to a lesser extent, food. Oh Jesus, God. what if I put in the wrong game? Welcome to Personal Trainer Cooking. Oh, thank Christ. Before we go any further, please adjust my voice to the speed you like. Let's slow down there. Is this a good speed for you? I have very slow ears. You're ready to start cooking tasty dishes from all over the world. Adjusting talk speed is all it takes? Alright, it is a cookbook, so I've got to check the settings first. Hi, right, kitchen timers included. I own a kitchen, a DS, a will to cook, but not a timer. You can exclude certain ingredients based on dietary restrictions, which is pretty handy. According to my religion, stomach, and opinion, I can't eat food, so it's good I can exclude certain recipes. There's a built-in shopping list for when you're gathering ingredients with a calculator included. Anybody ever use personal trainer cooking on an exam? There's basically an index of info here. This is pretty much a crash course in what's edible. There's even quick videos showcasing how to gut a fish like this one where they got a fish. This is going to be an insane turkey. Well, let's hop into the recipes where they give us a step-by-step -step procedure on how to use a spoon. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. All different kinds of food from all different kinds of countries. But what do I want to prepare here? New England clam chowder? Fuck it, that's kind of funny. Okay, select a saucepan of an appropriate size for the number of servings you will be preparing. All I had was a milk jug. Okay, so here's all the ingredients I'm gonna need. Lucky for me, I already own food. I don't need to buy ingredients. Sure, I only have two of the listed ingredients, but I can make this work. First up, canned clams. And two thirds of a small onion. Thank God that's the only portion I had. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the actual cooking portion. The game offers light voice recognition where you can scream at it to continue, repeat, or go to the last step of your instructions. It honestly works pretty well for a Nintendo DS game from 2008. It helps that you don't have to get your messy hands on the DS as you're working and you can just focus on the clams. First step, drain the clams with the sieve. The sieve was never on the ingredients. Can I substitute it with clams? Let's cut the onion, clean up cutting utensil, substitute carrots with clams, potatoes with clams, bacon with clams, and now it's time to cook. I didn't mean to get salmonella this year. Might as well try another one. Oh, f they got goulash in this? 
Damn it, it uses onions. I already used my whole two-thirds onion already. Well, you know what they say. If you can't make goulash, give up. But they got a mac and cheese recipe here. That's my favorite side dish next to pretzels. I have to try, though. Chop the cheddar, boil the macaroni. I realized I was using a saucepan and sieve as a cup holder, so lucky break there. Make the sauce, don't let it brown. Is green okay? Season with salt and pepper, mix everything together. Uh, I don't have macaroni noodles, so I'm just gonna use thick spaghetti. Voila, macaroni and cheese, Ohioan style. We get achievements. You're goddamn right I made mac and cheese today. I can pretty much make anything now. We're gonna increase the difficulty. Chicken pot pie. You can't fit chicken in that. Damn it, this is an empanada. Oh, my rotisserie chicken's done. I gotta feed everybody in quick. Oh boy, food and plates? Oh yeah, I haven't eaten all of the month of November to prepare for this. Happy you here. What is this? It's a gourd, bitch. What's in the crock pot? Cereal. There's this place downtown called Steel Pretzels. Oh, what do they have? I don't know. Guys, I busted my ass making all of this. The least you can do is eat everything. On you directly in front of you, you will see a failure. Personal trainer cooking is a sham. It doesn't even compete with the f***ing pretzel restaurant down the street. These pretzels are actually stale. I don't know how they do it. Even I can't cook these. Well, you can, in fact, follow the instructions and get a good understanding of how to effectively cook. The voice recognition kind of blows. I know I said it was impressive for a DS game in 2008, but my god, it kept on picking up the clanks of my silverware as me telling it to continue or repeat the instructions. Which is why I will give this infamous excuse for poor video game performance towards my cooking ability. Why did my meals turn out bad? It was the controller, not me!